So I would do a physical exam on you because even though your imaging shows the disc herniation with the impingement on the nerve root, I might uh -huh. do your physical exam and your pain might be a little bit of that and then maybe some of your sacroiliac joint, which can be commonly inflamed after pregnancy and childbirth yeah. just because of the gapping that has to happen in the pelvis that can uh, cause some irritation to the sacroiliac joints or it could be your the nerve root actually isn't causing any of your pain and it's 100% your sacroiliac joint. That's also a possibility because we can have pain that radiates down the leg that mimics sciatica that is not from the nerve root and it's from something like the sacroiliac joint. Or we could do the physical exam and 100% of your pain seems to be coming from the compression of the sciatic nerve and the nerve roots. And so the first step is figuring out why you're having this pain that's radiating down the leg. So we're trying to confirm if this MRI is showing us what's causing you pain, and if not, then what is causing your pain? And then we would look at, okay, now what are our options uh, based on that? Are we looking at doing the epidural? Are we looking at doing an epidural plus something else? Or do we need to do something completely different uh, based on why you're in pain?